You know, it's kind of staggering right now what we are seeing. In New Jersey, one out of three people who are getting tested are testing positive uh, right now for, uh, for coronavirus and mostly uh, the Omicron variant. It's really like a wildfire. Um, you know, about a year ago, that number was about 13 percent. So we're almost triple in terms of the number of people who are testing uh, positive. We're seeing a huge uh, surge um, in hospitalizations as, as well. In the state of New Jersey, there's um, over 5,500 people now in, um, in hospitals throughout the uh, state. In our health network at Hackensack Meridian, we're over 1,300, uh, 1300 uh, hospitalizations. I guess a good way to look at it is that um, this Omicron variant, it's three times as transmissible, but one-third less severe. But if you do the math, uh, hospitalizations are still uh, rising significantly, and the state model is showing that we're going to peak probably in about 10 days from now with the, uh, between 9,000 and 10,000 hospitalizations. So we still, unfortunately, uh, this, uh, this variant continues to spread, and uh, we haven't reached our uh, peak uh, as of yet. How, how are you all able to handle it? Because we know that it, it's spread through a lot of employees, too. When you have such massive numbers, it's going to hit your staff. Yeah, so currently uh, we have 600 uh, team members that are out because of uh, COVID. Um, some of them are asymptomatic but have tested positive. Some of them do have uh, symptoms. But what we're doing to, to try to, um, try to uh, deal with this uh, particular surge with so many team members um, out sick, and keep in mind that, that um, 600 is um, over a workforce of about 36,000, so about 2% of our workforce uh, okay. currently. Uh, what we're doing is uh, we're reassigning um, people who uh, can help out in our various hospitals. We've reassigned about 450 uh, team members. Those are folks that can help support patient care. Some of them are even nurses that might be working in a research setting or maybe in one of our medical practices. Our medical practices, many people uh, that are working in our medical practices are now being reassigned to help out in the emergency departments. And we're opening up um, new testing centers on our hospital campuses proximate to the emergency departments. But I think it's really important, an important point is um, our emergency departments throughout the state and actually throughout the country now are really getting overwhelmed. So we're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of people coming in to be tested in the emergency departments. I would urge uh, folks, if they can't get hold of a, a home COVID test, to use an urgent care center, use one of these uh, testing centers. They're being you know, constructed under tents or in fixed buildings um, on hospital campuses so that the emergency departments can do what they're supposed to do and, and take care of really true emergencies. Because I worry about that in terms of people who, uh, who need emergency care, who have had um, a heart attack or a stroke, or even yesterday with some of the snow and ice, uh, many of them were, uh, we had many people that were in motor vehicle accidents that needed trauma care. So it's really important that, uh, that people use the emergency department you know, for appropriate reasons. But we do urge people to get tests, but uh, at, at the appropriate settings like urgent care centers and testing centers. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.